Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this video we are going to make so that you can actually fire the weapon. So yeah, let's get started. First, let's go to the PP first person character like this. Yep. Now let's uh, create another function called fire uh, fire underscore weapon. Okay. Now we have to get the fire type here and switch on fire type like this okay now we can from the single fire uh, uh, um, line trace by channel like this okay and now we can actually move, change the debug type for for duration like this and now uh, we have to get the first person camera here and get world location and from the world location we have to connect it to the start like this and now we have to get from the first person camera again get forward vector we could actually uh, we have to multiply it multiply and now we have one up want to multiply it with a float single precision float this I will make it like 25,000 maybe we can later actually uh, add to the data table that how far the how far is the you know the distance that the weapon can, weapon can shoot now we have a uh, need to add this together and this to the end so yeah now if we go to the event graph and we actually add a new input here actually let's go to the project settings where did they go uh, oh I have the I had that open okay now let's go to the input to here. Let's add a new action mapping. Action mapping should be called fire, fire, maybe fire or shoot or whatever. I will put, make it a left mouse button like this. Okay, now we can close this and actually also this. Now if we go here, I will find the fire action events, fire like this. And from the pressed, I can actually put this to here just to see if it works and it should work. If we press, we should see the line trace. And we don't. Let's check again. Oh, I only connected the single fire. Let's try again with this. Now you can see it basically. <laughs> Uh, draws a line to where we are shooting it doesn't yet do anything but this is the basic of it yeah okay now we have to let's actually add the uh, from here let's promote this to a variable let's call it a fire or max range oh. like this and now it should be the 2500 no it's tw not 25 uh, it's 25000 okay yeah but yeah now let's go to the to here uh, uh, no 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 not here to the weapon struct let's add a, another variable fire range okay now we have to go to the data table here and let's add the no it's actually have to change this to a float like this and now for range let's make it twenty five thousand and this like twenty five thousand for example okay now we have to go back to here and to the set weapon touch and from here we have to promote this to a variable oh no no not that way. Let's set 
this bar max range and connect it to there. Now it should be done. Compile and save, and we can actually close this. And the fire weapon now it should be working, I think. Okay, it should be working. So after this, now we can actually go to the go to here and let's create a custom event. Custom event. Let's call it a um, recoil. And from the recoil, we have to uh, we have to add a timeline. Timeline. And let's call it recoil timeline like this. And let's connect it to the wave from start like this. Let's add a float track. One second, add a key to zero and zero, and another key to one and one. And now we can make it, oh, why is this still five? It should be zero, right? Now we can auto and auto like this. Now it's smoother. Now we can close that, and actually close that also. And from there, we can, we have to, from the update, set control rotation. Off. Let's control rotation like this. And from here we have to get the get player controller. Now let's move this to here. And now let's split this and move it a little bit here too. And from there we have to uh, actually we have to get from this one if I remember correctly. Get control rotation. Rotation, get control rotation. Let's split it. Now we only have to we have to connect this one and this one, and then we have to then from the Y we have to lerp this and connect this to a Y here, and then we have to get this alpha from here to here like this and uh, actually we have to get it out or take this out and from here uh, make a creator creator like this and then we have to get from the a a select 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 this one and connect to here like this and this should be 180, so if it's more than 180 degrees, then if it falls, the Y should go straight here. And if it is true, we should get from here also and minus 360 and connect it to true, like this. And now we can actually get all these uh, collapsed to a macro. The macro should be called convert pitch. Like this. And now we can open this and we can actually remove all these inputs from here and from the A to there and from the A to there. Now it should be. I think it should be correct. Oh, make it use. Okay, this is all that we need right now. And now we can actually. I will make a little more space like this. Oh, why isn't that working? Oh, it's wrong player controller. Get player controller like this. This is the right one. So yeah, now it is working after this. Okay. And I can move this to here. And now I also have to get uh get this and add to it. A, let's add like 0.5 just for testing and now we have to uh, we have to add controller yeah input like this and from here we ha can get random load float in range and I will 
be like point no minus is minus point two and x is point two like this. Compile and save and now we have to go to the fire weapon to here and we can call the recoil recoil from here like this. No now we actually have to to a recoil let's go here we can add here or we have to add here the mm, the recoil amount we have to get it like this and then we have to we have to get the recoil yaw and multiply by minus one and that should go to the min uh, min minimum value like this and this should go straight to the maximum maximum value like this okay now is like that and then we have and now we have to actually let's move all this a little bit more there and now we have to get the mm, components uh, recoil timeline like this Let's play rate like this. Okay. And I think the play rate new rate should be divide like this. And it should be one divided by the recoil length variable like this. So if we now make the now let's add some values to the uh, data table. Um, data table here. First one, uh, recoil amount. I will put it like 0.5 maybe. And recoil yaw like 0.2. And a recoil length, I will make it like 0 0.03 or something like that. And now if we write, Yes, you can see it has a little random recoil, but it's is still in progress. But you can see it's already doing something. But yeah. Actually, I think this is all for this video. Let's not make this too long. So yeah, now it is doing something. It has a recoil, some kind of recoil. But yeah. Okay, in the next episode we are going to make a recall animation for the gun and maybe add the bullet spread. Let's see. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe if you want. And hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Yeah, bye.